Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a stack for you guys and by stack your girl do mean a stack. So if you've watched some of my older videos, and by older I mean like a month or so ago, I stated that I had been putting my manga collection on hold for a little bit simply because I went through a very bad period of not reading but buying. I bought so much manga that I had to get this basket here. Daddy, that still isn't empty but still full of manga. <sighs> that thing was so full. It was literally stacks of manga. And I have got it down now, I do wanna say that. I have got it down quite a bit, but a lot of the stuff that I was reading, you know, I like it, but I wanted something new. And this is where the manga store trip came in. Not gonna lie, I got a little bored with what I was reading at home. So I did go and buy some manga. So let's go ahead and get into this haul because it's a pretty chunky one. And I do want to say that I have been reading a lot of webtoons recently and I definitely feel like webtoon has really influenced this haul so let's just let's just state that real quick before we get into this because I did pick up a few new series that I usually wouldn't pick up just because they remind me of like a webtoon first one that I picked up I actually picked up volumes one and two of this series because it just sounded really good. It sounded like a webtoon. You don't know who I am. I love a good like cheeky romance. So I picked up Marmalade Boy. This is actually one that I have seen floating around my manga friends pages. So basically Miki's life was pretty ordinary until the day her parents told her they were swapping spouses with another couple. Thanks to this unconventional arrangement, Miki now has two step parents and a hot stepbrother, you. Miki isn't thrilled with her new situation, and Yu is super cute, he's also kind of a jerk. <sighs> See, the thing is, I don't necessarily like the siblings thing, but we'll, we'll give it a try. It looks very neat. I like the orange. Like, <laughs> if you see on the back, there's like the little print of an orange right here. It's pretty. I'm gonna give it a try. It looked really interesting, so I bought the first two volumes. Next one I have is a Boarding School Juliet, which honestly, I got it because it kind of looks like, I don't even know how to explain it. I got it because I'm not gonna lie, I am a sucker for boarding school stories. Like any like book that has a boarding school, I eat it up. I love it. I love it in anime too. And so when I saw this one, I picked it up and I'm not gonna lie, the girl's really cute. And honestly, the picture on the back kind of got me with this one. I'm really excited about this one. It's a girl's, no, Dahlia Academy educates the light the elite of society so it's like rich people and like there's romance because this is me we're talking about it's gonna have some romance so yeah I'm really interested in this one and it's just super cute the next one I got is another that I have seen floating around on some of my friends pages on Instagram who are manga collectors which is those not so sweet boys I've seen it I have seen it in the store as well but this time I finally caved it's time to just try it out. Let's see. I don't know, it's like, girl has a lot of guys who like her basically. We'll give it a try. I'll let you guys know if I like these by the way because they are new and if you wanna know that, you can definitely check out my Instagram page right here, right here because I do reviews. If you didn't know, I do reviews. And next is Lovesick Ellie ep episode volume number eight this has quickly become one of my favorites to read like at first it was a little slow for me but i really like the jokes i really like the humor in this i really like it i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's a little iffy sometimes because she is a bit of a pervert but i just i like how funny it is ellie is a very funny character and so yeah had to pick this one up i am so so thrilled that it well not thrilled that it's almost ended but like i'm thrilled to almost have the complete set because i love this so much i need to know how it ends i need to know next is another favorite of mine that i've seen a lot of people showing off their collections of which is volume six of imakoi now i'm in love once again this is another one that i really really love this one's really good can't lie to you guys it's a good 
little romance story. I'm not going to read it because I'm not going to flip through it and find spoilers. But yeah, this one is very, very good. This is also one of my favorite series, so I would highly suggest checking out Imakoi and Lovesick Ellie if you haven't already. Next, we have volume two of Honey Lemon Soda. And if you saw the video where I picked up the first uh, volume of this, I did say I don't particularly love it and I have to stick by that with the second volume. I don't particularly like it and I did make a TikTok talking about one of the big reasons why I don't like it. It's also on YouTube somewhere as a short, so check that out. But I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need more volumes before I can fully judge you because as of right now, this is not very high on my list. I collect it anyway. And if you know, it's been almost a year of my collection process of Horimiya. Horimiya is one of my favorite animes. It's just, it's so good. If you've seen it, you know, it's just so good. And I have struggled, and I do mean struggled, to find these mangas. I don't know what it is. My store, my Barnes & Noble, always has volumes like one through six, and they never have the other volumes. I don't know what it is, but they're skimping out on me. And so finally, I did find these two. I know there's a couple more and then I will have the complete series, but as of right now, we have the pretty pink and the blue, um, volume 11 and 12. And next we have the OVA, I believe, kind of side story of Tokyo Mew Mew, which is Tokyo Mew Mew a la mode. So this is Barry. She is kind of a part of the original team, but she's not featured, I don't believe, in the anime, but she is someone who does work with the Tokyo Mew Mew team and Ichigo, and then for a while she takes place as Ichigo as the leader, and she is very powerful at like Ichigo, and I'm not gonna lie, I really like this one. I thought I was gonna hate it, because usually I hate when like authors do like a side story around the whole show, but like new characters, but I genuinely like this one. I feel like Barry here really does fit with the theme. And also, can we talk about the fact her name is Barry, like Strawberry, and Ichigo is also Strawberry. They're both literally just Barry and Strawberry. Cheeky haha funny. This little rascal has been avoiding me for the longest time, but I finally found it today because if you guys know, I picked up volume four in a used book so shop store or whatever, and I only got it for like maybe $4, so I could not find volume three for the longest time. We finally, finally can add volume three. I keep saying episode, volume three of Skip and Loafer to my collection. I have been looking for this guy forever forever so yeah finally have him now once again <laughs> this is also very webtoon ish but i honestly i thought the character was really cool and shout out to one of my my friends here because the character on it looks just like rosa and so i picked up this manga which is called seventh time loop and basically the girl dies when she turns 20 and is reincarnated the gate to the day she gets dumped and basically she meets a guy who killed her in her previous life and they get married so it's pretty interesting i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the vibe of how webtoony it is but also this cover is just beautiful like i am a sucker for beautiful covers and manga and i should not open it and read it because i'm really excited to read this one i might sit down and read this one after filming because i'm really excited to know all about it so yeah this one is a new one and so the next two i picked up you see the thing is i didn't quite realize that they were books but <laughs> You know, they're mangas, but they're like manga books. Like, I'm sure many of you probably know the SAO series where they're actually like readable books. Yeah, so I picked up some of those because I thought that they were cute and that they were manga, but they're actually novels. So the first one is I'm in love with the villainess. She's cheeky for the commoner. So this is the one I picked up. Ring light, get out of my way. And once again, it's a book. <laughs> Which, obviously, I have no trouble reading books. I love books. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I picked it up because she is super, super pretty. I mean, look at her. Once again, 
I am a sucker for beautiful cover art and this is absolutely beautiful art. And I kind of made a mistake with this one, so I'm kind of gonna have to like hold off on a bit, but I saw this one and I was like, oh, I've seen people talk about this, so I'll pick it up, which is Bloom Into You. And it's volume three, it's novel three, novel three. Um, yeah, the girl did not do a good job of reading and by the girl, I mean me. Um, <laughs> do not have volume one or two, but I have volume three now, so um, yeah, gonna have to <laughs> check the store and see if I can find the other volumes, but once again, it is a book, and I do believe there are some pictures in this one, kind of like how SAO, yeah, kind of like how SAO does theirs, so a potential read a little bit further on once I collect the first and second one. So yeah, this is my haul. Oh my god, <laughs> your girl kind of went a little crazy. Yeah, this was my $130. Obviously, I am a Barnes & Noble Prime member, so that took it down quite a bit. But this is my haul for a while. I would say just for a while. I know I've been kind of lacking on haul videos for manga, but that's just simply because I don't want to hoard, you know, I want to be able to read and enjoy it and put it on my shelf without having to feel like I need to hoard manga and just put it in my basket of shame because it makes me feel bad about myself and so I'm taking it a little bit slower. Let me know down below what manga should I read next. If I have something that you don't see here or here today, let me know down below. Give me suggestions. I love hearing you guys' suggestions for manga. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!